In the third part of the mechanical training series, we are going to talk about exporting your mechanical design as a 3D PDF document. This is the tractor model that we used in the earlier parts of the training series, and we are going to prepare it for presentation as a 3D PDF document with the help of SimLab Composer Scene States and Annotations features. Go to the Create menu and select Annotations. SimLab Composer allows you to create several types of annotations. The Linear Dimension tool measures the projected distance between two points on the principal axis, while the Align Dimension tool measures the distance between two points in space without projecting their location on a principal axis. The Radial Dimension tool measures the radius of circles and arcs in the design. The Angular Dimension tool can measure the angle between two intersecting lines. And the Leader Annotation tool allows you to add custom text with a pointer to the design. The Annotation Color can be set prior to creating the annotation. Click on the color box and set the color to red. Click on the Linear Dimension tool. To measure the width of the loader's bucket, click on the edge at the end of the bucket. Then click on the outer edge at the other end of the bucket to set the second point of measurement. Now move the cursor to determine the position of the annotation and click to confirm it. To measure the distance between the front and rear wheels, click on the Linear Dimension tool, then switch the pick mode to center of curvature instead of edge. Now click at any loop in the front wheel to pick its center as measurement point 1, and a loop on the rear wheel to set the second measurement point. Follow the cursor to determine the position of the annotation and click to confirm it. Follow the same steps as earlier to measure the distance between the rear wheels. In the Object Tree panel to the left, select all the annotations you have created, then right-click and select Add Parent. Rename the assembly to Top. Arranging the annotations into groups allows you to have better management and control over those annotations. Let's move to creating an annotation for the side view. Click on Edit Plane from the Annotations Creation window. Since we are going to add measurements for the side view of the design, we need to select YZ Plane or simply click on a parallel face to the side view. Click on the surface of the bucket and notice that a blue arrow has been created in the place of picking, displaying the normal of the plane you selected. Notice also that the grid has been rotated to match the plane you selected for annotation creation. Click OK. Then change the color of the annotations to green. Click on the Aligned Measurement tool, then select the two ends of the bucket's edge as the measuring point. Then move the cursor to determine the position of the annotation and click to confirm it. The Align Dimension tool will measure the distance between two points without projecting the values to the principal planes, which can be useful in measuring diagonal surfaces and edges. To measure the length of the cylinder's barrel, click on the Align tool again, and switch the picking mode to Center of Curvature. Then pick the edge loop at the bottom of the cylinder to set it as the first point and then click the edge loop at the top of the cylinder to set it as the second measurement point. Using the Align tool, measure the length of the arm connecting the bucket to the base of the loader.
Select the radial dimension tool and click on the edge of the front wheel's rim to measure its radius. Click again to set the length of the annotations indicator, and by moving the cursor determine the length and orientation of the measurements text. With the radial dimension tool the picking mode will automatically switch to center of curvature, so there is no need to worry about switching it yourself. Select the recently created annotations from the object's tree to the left and add them to a new parent. Name the newly created group Side. Switch the annotation's color to purple and click on Edit Plane. Pick a plane parallel to the XC plane or set it to the XC plane from the Plane Selection dialog. Using the Linear Dimension tool, measure the distance between the bucket's teeth. Select the Linear Dimension tool again and set the picking mode to center of curvature and measure the distance between the front wheels. Using the radial dimension tool, measure the radius of the headlights. In the object tree panel to the left, select all the annotations you have created for the front view. Then right click and select Add Parent and rename the parent to Front. As you can see, we can now hide and show annotations according to their plane of measurement which is what we are going to capture using scene states. Scene states allow you to capture several attributes from the scene and store them. When the captured scene state is activated, it will reapply all the attributes it stored back into the scene. From the scene states menu, select Capture. In the scene states dialog, disable all the attributes except for the camera and visibility. Then set the camera view to a perspective view and click Capture from Scene. Select the group name Top from the object tree and press H on your keyboard to hide it. Hide the side annotations group as well, leaving only the front annotations to be visible. Set the camera view to a front angle and from the Scene States window, click on Capture from Scene. Select the top annotations assembly and press S on your keyboard to show it. Then hide the other groups by selecting them and pressing H. Adjust the camera's angle to a top view and click on Capture. Show only the side annotations group, then set the camera to a side view and click on Capture again. Go to the Scene States tab in the panel at the bottom and you will find the captured Scene States there. Drag the thumbnail of the Scene State to the scene to apply it. Let us create another scene state with all the annotations being hidden. Hide all the annotations in the group, then click on Capture from Scene. Click on the first scene state and from the Attributes panel to the right, rename it to Perspective On, since it has a perspective view with the annotations visibility on. Select the second scene state and name it Front. Name the third scene state top.
the fourth scene state signed, and the last scene state to perspective off, since it has a perspective view with the annotations visibility off. Let us proceed to capture another attribute in the scene. Disable the visibility and camera attributes in the scene states dialog and enable the material attribute. Then click Capture from Scene. Select the tractor's body to show its material's attributes and change its color to yellow. Then click on Capture from Scene again. Change the color once more to green and click Capture from Scene. You now have three additional scene states that control the color of the tractor. Notice how they work independently from other scene states, meaning you can mix different scene states together based on the attributes they store. There are two ways to activate scene states in a 3D PDF file, either by connecting the scene states to geometry through the action system, which can be activated by clicking the geometry in the PDF document, or by attaching the scene states to clickable buttons or text in the SimLab template designer. Let us first connect the material scene states using actions. Select the assembly that includes the body components from the object tree or by holding shift and double clicking a body component. And from the objects tab in the attributes panel to the right, set the type to multi actions. Open the action list and click on the add action button and set the action type to scene state. Click on the scene state with the yellow tractor thumbnail to automatically connect it to the action. Add another action and set it to scene state. Then click on the thumbnail with the green tractor. Add a final action and link the scene state with the red tractor to it. Since you have the interaction type set to loop by default, clicking the tractor's body will cycle between the three connected scene states, changing its color from red to yellow to green. An additional type of action that you can attach to the model in SimLab Composer is Animation Sequence. Go to the Animation tab and play the animation we created in the previous part of this training series. The animation that we have created can be played in the 3D PDF file as an action using the Animation Sequences feature. To convert the animation to an animation sequence, select all the keyframes in the animation and then click on the Animation Sequence icon. In the Sequence Creation dialog, type in the name Loader. And since we are going to need a reversed version of the animation, where the loader's bucket goes down, toggle on the Create Reverse option. Toggle on the option to delete the animation from the timeline, since we will not be needing it anymore. In the Sequences tab, you can see that there were two animation sequences created from the animation, and the next step is connecting them to the model. Click on the loader's bucket and from the Objects tab in the Attributes panel, Set the type to multi action. In the action channel list, add an action and set its type to play sequence. Click on the animation sequence named loader to automatically connect it. Then add another animation sequence action and click on the loader reverse sequence to connect it. Now that the scene is ready, we can proceed to the PDF creation. From the File menu, under 3D PDF, select Settings. In the Template tab, you can choose one of the templates that SimLab Composer provides, or create a new one. Click on New to launch the Template Designer. Set the size of the PDF file by setting the width and height. In this example, set it to 1280 by 720 and click OK. In the Properties panel to the left, you can set the type of background to use for the template. Set it to an image and browse your computer to select an image as the background. The first step is setting the 3D area where the 3D model will appear in the PDF document. Click on the 3D area button, then click on the working area. 
Use the red pointers to determine the size and the shape of the 3D area. Click on the Add Image icon and click in the space left of the 3D area. Those are images that have been rendered using the scene states we created earlier in the scene, and we are going to use them as buttons that would activate the scene states. Select the perspective image and click OK. Then place it at the top of the vertical banner. To connect a scene state to the image, switch the type in the Properties panel to the left to Scene State. Type in the exact name used for the perspective scene state in SimLab Composer, which was Perspective On. Add another image and select the side render thumbnail. Set the image type to scene state and type in the name side. Instead of adding another image in the template designer, you can copy an image and edit it. Press Ctrl and C then Ctrl and V on your keyboard to duplicate the image. Position the duplicate image under the side image and double-click it to change its content. Select the Type View thumbnail and change the name of the scene state to Top. Duplicate the image an additional time and rename the connected scene state to Front, then replace the image with the Front View render. Click on the Add Text button and type in dimensions. Set the size, the font type and color and click OK. Place the added text to the bottom of the template. Press Ctrl and C. Then Ctrl and V to duplicate the text. Then double click to edit it and type in Enable. Duplicate the text one more time and edit it to display the text Disabled. Click on the text Enable and set the type to Scene State. And in the Scene State name, type in Perspective On. And in the Disable text, type in Perspective Off as its scene state. Make sure it has exactly the same name as the scene states used in SimLab Composer. Now that the template is ready, from the File menu select Save. Type in a name for the template and click Save. Close the Template Editor, and in the Template tab click Refresh to display the newly created template. Before exporting the 3D PDF and showing the final result, let us quickly overview the other settings available for the 3D PDF exporter. In the second tab of the PDF settings, you can select background music to play while the document is open. You can also set a password that will be required to be typed upon the opening of the PDF document. In the 3D tab, you can select whether or not to show or hide the 3D toolbar and the world axis. You can also disable the selection of components in the PDF document. You can also have the model tree open to display a list of all the components in your scene. You can set the navigation mode, render mode, and the default light type from this tab as well. Those modes can later be changed while the PDF document is open via the 3D toolbar. The Show SimLab Buttons bar option will display buttons to switch between your cameras and your scene states. Automatic Transition will switch views between cameras automatically. In the Animation tab, set the rate of displaying animation frames in the FPS field and determine the playing mode of the animation. In the Advanced tab, you have the option to run a JavaScript or a 3D JavaScript with the PDF file. Other options you have in this page are to disable measurements, preserve image resolution in full screen, and set which parameter to export along with the PDF document.
Click Export. Set the path in the name of the PDF and click Save. In the Scene States Manager window, you can determine which scene states to export along with the PDF document. Keep them all checked and click OK. Clicking any button will activate the scene state connected to that button. and clicking on the tractor's body will cycle between the colors we chose earlier in SimLab Composer. To play the animation sequence, click on the loader's bucket. Let us explore another helpful feature that can enhance mechanical 3D PDF presentations in the Template Designer. Under 3D PDF, select Settings and create a new template. Instead of setting an image as a background, you can use a PDF document as the background. Using a PDF as a background allows you to utilize any PDF documentation that you have of the model to be combined with a 3D view. Simply add a 3D working area for the template and save it. Click on Refresh to display the created template, and select the template, then click Export. You have the option either to attach the scene states with the 3D PDF or export only the 3D model. Click OK to view the PDF file. You can also merge several PDF files in SimLab Composer. From the File menu, under 3D PDF, select Merge. Click on the Add File icon and browse to the PDF files you created and add them. Then click to generate to a save file containing the PDF documents you merged. SimLab Composer provides valuable tools for mechanical engineers that can improve the quality of their work and can ease the process of communicating their designs. The use of annotations in combination with scene states in a 3D PDF document results in creating a unique presentation where you can visually channel your ideas to others without much effort.